What up, gang? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another F1 Diecast video. It's been a while since I've done a proper F1 Diecast review. Daniel Kvyat was the last one I did. You may know if you watch my channel. Actually, let's stop there. I know from the analytics that most of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you're watching this video, subscribe. I, I mean, that's really all I can say. I mean, that's the problem with probably everyone on YouTube. Everyone, I mean, on YouTube has that problem. Uh, so subscribe if you like this video. Um, I never show the bag that it gets shipped in because there's really no point. But today, I'm feeling a bit... I, I want to see what comes out of here. Um, because I purchased this car knowing what it was, but it's just, it's just almost too, I don't want to say too good to be true, but it's too something to be believable. So I'm going to open the package on camera. You can see the description, toy car, seven ninety nine great British pounds. Uh, I believe that's just for the shipping. I, I think that's what I paid for the shipping. Probably the cheapest F1 diecast I've ever bought in this bag here. You've seen it in the thumbnail. Let's, let's see, look it in there, looky in there. It's a, in a little cardboard. Um, I thought this had text written on it, but it's just a little bag, or that's not a bag. Here we go, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, there's more. Shout out to the seller of this car. You really put your, uh, put your oomph in this car, which I don't think the effort, I don't really know if it was worth the effort given what I'm expecting to see here. Here we go. It's, oh my God, what happened? I I have absolutely no idea what to say about this car. It's, first of all, it's still screwed to the base. So either it has been re-screwed to the base at some point, or this car got broken on the base. So you can see the box is completely destroyed what happened to this car? I really didn't expect it to be on the base still. I didn't bring a screwdriver down here, so I'm going to have to go do that. There, okay, so there's just so much about this car that's weird. So here's the car itself. Uh, we'll take a look at that in a second. The box, I mean, it's f completely fucked, and it's dusty. Like, look at this. Look at that. I have no idea the story of the... I just am amazed by this car in so many ways. I don't know how an F1 diecast can break quite like this one. I've broken a car before. I've broken F1 diecast before. I did it on video because I used to be fucking dumb. Things. It bends so easily. Oh my god. I just broke it. Oh my god. What the f*** is wrong? Ah! You know, we as humans... We don't know where to stop. We just keep pushing until it breaks. And then we can't fix things. But I have never seen one quite like this. Uh, let's go in for the, going for the close up. Oh dear, oh dear. What has happened to this car? Before we get into the car, let's just take a look. I also don't do this, and I want to just say this before. I got nothing on against the buyer, I, I mean, or the seller. I'm the buyer. I got something against the buyer. The seller, I, I don't know the story of this car. I don't know who's to blame for this, um, but uh, let's just read the sale because it's pretty funny. So I got it pulled up right here. Uh, let's just read it real quickly. You are buying on a high quality and realistic diecast model featuring a Panasonic Toyota Racing TF103 Olivier Panis 2003 car. Um, I'm pretty sure whatever's in bold is like the fill in the blank. Like this is just a template and whatever's in bold is what he just put in there. This can be seen by the next paragraph, which is all bold. Use condition. No kidding. For TLC. See photo, missing front wheels, mirrors, and a few other small pieces from body, hence cheap price. The model has great detail. Every detail has been painstakingly detailed. So that this model looks exactly the same as the real thing. This particular model is very sought after because it features one of the all-time classic F1 cars. Now, not hating on Toyota here, but I don't remember anything of the TF-103. That being said, I didn't watch F1 back in 2003, uh, so I, I guess I can't say. But yeah, 
Let's just look at the freaking car now. But let's get one thing out of the way first. The hallmarks of this channel, guys. Do the wheels move? Holy shit, they do. Yes, this is an older Mini Champs car. So the wheels do move on this car. But no front wing. It has got a camera on this side, but not one on this side. But that may just actually be a detail of the car. It's got front suspension, but no front wheels. It looks like it has a little bit there that should be the wheel, but it isn't. No T-cam, so we can't even ask, see if that is wrong or not. I mean, uh, it's got a winglet on this side, but then the other side is missing one. The rear wheels are on and they move. This car is dusty, like holy crap. I don't know what would go here, like the exhaust. These might actually just be right. That might just be the exhaust or whatever. Uh, the rear wing is gone. It doesn't, it's missing the top bit and one of the sides is bent. It's, I don't know what this is made out of. It's certainly not die cast, this rear wing. It's plastic, I guess. Um, wow i mean just just wow panasonic i'm trying to i was just trying to do this like a real f1 die cast unboxing but i mean you got the michelin man there on the front but what in the world has happened let's take a look at the bottom hey the bottom doesn't look too bad we got the board we got uh toyota mini champs hey that looks pretty good what did I don't even have anything to say other than how does this happen? I just cannot believe that not only did this happen, but I actually bought this car. Number 20, Olivier Penis, last French driver to win before Pierre Gasly won this season. Like, I don't think it says this is a spec. This is like a, one of the all time classic cars. But did the Toyota T103 do anything? Hold on. I'm gonna look that up real quickly because I got my computer here so I could look up the thing. Eighth in the constructor standings in 2003. This looks like its best finish is fifth. So it's not a remarkable car. It certainly is not the best Toyota they ever made in their short, shortish time in F1. I had to buy this car because I knew no one else would. And I'm just, the paint is all messed up here. I didn't even see that if you compare it to the other side. I mean, there's everything that could possibly be wrong with this car is wrong with this car. I also got juped because in the picture, there was like a seat. In the there was a random chair sitting next to the car. I thought I was gonna get a free fake chair like the Fernando Alonso lawn chair. Cannot go without comparing two cars. I got the BMW Sauber 2008 car, um, Robert Kubica. Uh, take a look at that comparison right there. I mean, what happened to Panis here? What? How? That is a vicious crash. He lost both the front wheels, but not the front suspension, the front wing, the rear wing, the T cam. I mean. It was a pretty violent crash. I mean, and I just realized this is the first ever car I got that comes on Michelin tires. So good job, Michelin. Uh, this is Bridgestone. This is the only car that I have that's on Bridgestones. Here's the bottom. Let's compare the bottom. I mean, it's a shame too because these older Mini Champs I think are awesome. The detail on these cars, the build quality. I like the older Mini Champs. Oh, it's stuck. It got stuck in the front wheel. I think the build quality on these older Mini Champs is just fantastic. Not that the new ones aren't. I just think these cars just are very interesting. They look fantastic. So it's a, it's a darn shame that this happened to an older Mini Champs car because those this is I mean this would be a fantastic car if it wasn't completely destroyed. So I do not know what happened to this car, but forever now. Like the guy, the the, the uh, description said, this is for, it's used, needs some TLC, tender love and care. And for the rest of its time, it will sit in my F1 collection. You're going to see this car every single year when I do the collection videos. And I'm sure everyone, every time someone sees it, they're going to be like, what happened to this car? And I'm going to tell them, well, I probably won't say anything. I, I don't know. You guys... I like collecting F1 diecast, but I wouldn't call myself a hardcore collector or anything. You guys are probably shuddering seeing this car if you are. I mean, this is just it needs a it needs a dusting. I mean, that's what I that's really what I all I need to do for this car. I mean, I bought it broken. I knew what was coming, but I mean, I, 
It's still something you can't believe. It looks like there was a sticker here before. Someone tried to sell this before. Yeah, I don't think the but the seller of this car is probably like, I finally got some idiot to buy this thing. Oh well, I have it now. I like interesting bits to the col I like having a diverse collection. So having this car that's completely destroyed um is cool uh, do you guys think i could ever repair it or get a burner toyota or something like that i mean and i know this one this video is kind of a throwaway just you know i gotta review cars like this sometimes they don't come out with new f1 die casts all the time and certainly not cheap ones so something like this is a good way just to get a video out i still i think it's really cool i think this is a very unique part of the collection but for anyone that came here hoping it was a brand new car I'll give you a little bit of a sneak peek on what's going to come next on uh, this channel that's F1 Diecast related at least. Bruh. But until then, this is the car we have now. The destroyed Panasonic Toyota TF103. If you guys missed my F1 2020 video, go check it out. I worked really hard on that. It's not necessarily the future of the channel, but I, like I said, I can't just keep spending money on f1 diecast so i gotta make some other stuff too sometimes so it'd be really cool if you guys could check that one out and give it a like and blah 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 if you're not subscribed do subscribe if you like this video like the video um and yes i hope you guys are excited for the next f1 diecast video i certainly am uh, i've been waiting for those cars for a while and i know a lot of people have so thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one